Hi, I'm Jasmine. Welcome to the CWC Equine Center. So this is the outside of our Equine Center. Abby is actually getting ready for stock horse, so she's tying up her two horses. So we have tie rails. It would be, it's recommended that you saddle your horses before class starts. So if you have to meet in the classroom for a little bit, um, normally if you're in horsemanship or English check, you're in there for an hour and then you have arena time for an hour. Stock horse is about the same thing until your second semester and then you have two hours out in the out in the arena, so it just depends. Um, we like to have our horses saddled before class. If you're a real horse person, you like being on your horses, you'd rather be on your horses, so we just like that tr fast transition um, from in the classroom to in the arena on our horses so we can start training them. It's really important. Um, and then behind the classroom building, we'll show you is all the calf pins, so the rodeo calves are back there and the stock horse calves are back there. Um, we just um, hold them here. Um, the interesting thing about the stock horse calves is the equine center buys them and then we sell them at the end of every semester so we always have fresh cows. The rodeo team does the same thing but it's on the rodeo team for those ones. So this is outside right now. Mike is who we met in the office is actually raking our outdoor arena for stock horse class and rodeo practice later tonight. Um, out here like I told you guys there's outdoor runs so right now everybody's horses are outside. It's a nice beautiful day. So we would like your horses outside um, getting sunshine as much as possible when you're boarding here. Um, we also have uh, pins back there that hold all our rough stuff for a rodeo. So there's steers. Um, sometimes we'll have bulls. Um, sometimes the bucking stock for like our, our rough stock riders. So our horses will be back there. Um, right now one of the rodeo kids over that way is actually bringing in their steers so they can team up tonight or in steer dog. Uh, so we have a couple pastures over there for the rodeo livestock to be in. In our outdoor arena, we do have a set of roping boxes and we do have a set of bucking chutes. I've never seen them use the bucking chutes, but they are there. They do use them um, at the beginning of our fall semesters and then they move indoors. So this is our indoor barn. That's it. Um, you, when you come install here, it's $650 per semester to board here. You'll get an outdoor run, which has no shelter to it, and then you get an indoor um, stall. The stall size are, are the, your normal stall size. They're 12 by 12. Um, you get one per horse. Um, so right now we have a bunch of students in here. There's probably about seven or eight horses that will um, get stalled in here at night if it's cold outside. There's also, like I pointed in the tack area of the indoor arena, we also have tax boxes out here. It just makes it a little easier for students. Um, the one thing we do ask is you don't store your hay inside a stall, um, just because we need more stalls for um, horses to be in. So your, safe, your hay can be stored in your trailer, um, which it can be parked in the parking lot, and then you can just bring it in. You can bring a bale in at a time if you really need to, but you don't want, I guess, food stored in the barn. So, so like I said, they're 12 by 12. Um, this one is cleaned out, but normally there's woody bed in here which is about six bags, they're pellet forms. We water it down and it fluffs up to uh, sawdust. Um, one time, you'll have to change this one time per semester. So about um, Thanksgiving and Christmas break is when we'll change your woody bed. Um, if you need to sooner, we can do that, but like uh, Mike and Joe will tell you, if you clean it out every day, twice a day, you should be able to last almost a full semester on just one set of woody bed, but just depends. Awesome, so this is the farrier room. Um, normally the farrier room is just used for our farrier science class, which Drew Schrock teaches that. So it's a three semester long class. They come in here, they learn how to trim and shoe and do corrective shoeing for horses. Other than that, we use this just to tie our horses in during the winter time. It's too cold. So normally we have to have our horses back to breathing right before we take them outside and you shock their lungs. And basically like if humans run in the cold, we can breathe through our lungs. Same with horses. So we use this to tie them in. Um, before horsemanship or English check, we have to tie, um, have our horses saddled. So this is during the winter time if it's raining or really windy or something, this is a good place to tie your horses into. So we have the woody bed over here, which is soft. And then we have a place where it's like wooden. I don't really, they like the wooden area better than the concrete area. And then we just have a tool room, which is over there. And then just a back exit door. It just goes to the cow pens. And it's really narrow back there, but. Okay, so this room is just like a tack area room. Um, these two equipment shed room things are just used for rodeo or just the equine facility in itself. Uh, those two are used for our English tack room. So English people, they have their own tack, but most we're all mostly Western riders. So we have our own English saddles, our bridles, all that kind of stuff. So you don't have to bring that. We supply that to you. We also have a Western tack room. It's just if we need to do a bit change, we need to do a saddle change or something for a day, we have the equipment to do so. These are tax boxes the students can check out. 
Um, they're also over in the uh, barn. So this student, her saddles and everything are up in this one, so they lock them up, and then they use another one if they need to to put their grain and stuff in. Um, normally you should only use one, but depends on how many students are actually using them. You can have two. And then out here is the indoor arena. Most of the time for all of our classes, we use the indoor arena. We use the indoor arena for rodeo practice during wintertime. Um, now we have a new CWC ranch horse team, so we also use the indoor arena during the wintertime. So we have a round pin. Um, we don't like to use the round pin all that often, but if we have to, we can put your horse in there. Um, it is covered. The barn is heated. We have a sprinkler system in here that waters our ground. Um, like I said, we hold rodeo practice in here. So we have the bucking chutes down at the one end. We have the roping boxes down over here. And yes, believe it or not, they can team rope in here. It's a little tight, but they do team rope and they do it successfully. And then just behind the rodeo boxes are the calf bins, so we can load our calves or steers or whatever we need to behind the roping boxes and keep them inside, especially in the wintertime if it's cold outside. Uh, and then behind the roping boxes are just like uh, the calf pins. We can load our steers or our calves back there, especially during the wintertime we like to use these, um, just so we can store our calves back here and here. Uh, for stock horse, we work cattle, so we do like rain cow horse, we do cutting and all that kind of stuff. So in the wintertime if it's cold outside, we like to bring our calves in, let them warm up. We get used to the warm temperatures of the arena before we do it. Um, rodeo, they'll come and store their calves in here every now and then too, for the simple reason, just to warm them up. And then we do trail in here, we do jumping in here, we do stock horse in here, um, training the rope horse and barrel classes all in here. We also have a class called training or horse event production. And basically what that class is, is we put on the CWC jackpots, which are consisted of barrels, poles, goats, and breakaway. So we hold that in our own arena. Um, so we use that arena for it. The, we actually put more um, stands in the round pen. So we have more spectator use. We have a crow's nest. It works just like a regular arena. It's just really small, compact, and it works well. So. And basically what's in here is the vending machines, there's couches, there is a TV for Netflix if you really want to watch Netflix. Um, the cool thing about these two vending machines is that it supports a rodeo club or a rodeo team, so it helps them um, fundraise all year long. They're always constantly full. The bathrooms are just right around the corner. And then this is the office for the equine center. So in the office, Mike and Joel sit in here. Mike's over there. And so in, there are supervisors down here, so they kind of help us um, with anything we need. When you come in and try to board your horse here, um, you'll be with them. Um, basically, you just check in with them. You'll turn in all your boarding packet um, papers and your horse papers and all that stuff to get checked in. Um, if you want to work down at the equine center, you'll be talking to Michael Joel. Um, so they always have students come work for them. Two people can't man this facility, so they have our students come in. We feed the cattle for the rodeo class, for the stock horse class. We rake the arenas, we water the arenas, we do all kinds of things that needs um, done down here. So. This is the classroom in here. Like I said before, you spend an hour in the classroom, um, depending on what class you're in, you're always in here for an hour. Our classes are two hours long. So you're an hour in the classroom and then you're an hour in the arena. Even your first day, you get to ride the first day of class. Um, some colleges, you don't get a ride till you're maybe your second semester or your third year. Um, so in here, we have jumping projects going on. Um, during your second semester of English Act, you get to build your own jump course and how you design them is up on you. One is Scooby-Doo themed, they have a Lego themed one. And then over here we have a Lion King one. And then we have old bones back here, your second semester of horsemanship, we really use old bones. Um, we wanna know how our horse moves and how to train them to better um, help them and help us understand how our horses are moving. So we um, use a book called How the Horse Moves and it just basically explains to us how their muscles and their bones are moving within their body and it helps us better train our horses um, easier and make it feel like they're doing it on themselves, not us. And then we have stock horse projects in here. So this is, we love our classroom. This is our home away from home.